Montreal is a gorgeous city. City of love, city of beauty and style. Street scene Freaky Nat embodies that beauty in a way that you wouldn't expect. She's been modifying her body for the last 11 years as an exteriorization of what she is on the inside. She has a new tat shop in the middle of Montreal. Let's drop in for a chat with Nat. Solid proof that beauty is skin deep. I studied hard when I was like younger. You can't really learn uh, tattooing in school or whatever. You need an apprenticeship. And after many years, even then, you're still you still have to learn. You learn like the whole your whole life. What I love about tattooing is how I can just work with the client. It's very it's a very personal thing. I can just work with them and create the perfect drawing. What they could create if they could draw and tattoo. You know, I always try to put push their ideas as much as possible. You know, I will ask very strange out there question and they have no idea why, but eventually everything seems to mean something. The number of stars that you have, exactly the color or the color mix, or why do you have bold lines instead of like little fine lines. Body modification includes tattooing and piercings, but uh, I prefer heavier body modifications like split tongue or split here or split whatever you can split. The only reason why I started body modification on myself is because I, I like the look. I want to offer a different perspective on body modification. For me it's very important even if you have an heavier body modification. I don't want them to see it as something ugly or I want it to be shiny, pretty. The owners of the fetish store, Isabeau and Sebastien, they offered me to come and join them when they, they moved and uh, make some space for fetish skin so I could open my own shop and offer another service. She's the only person that we would trust with having a business within our own. It works very well because our clientele is not necessarily her clientele. I like latex, latex gloves, uh, I like uh, medical stuff. It's, it's more of a like visual fetish, but like fur and diamonds and like shiny stuff. I just like shiny, I'm, I'm, I'm like a ferret. I'm also a painter. My heart is really close from pop art, really flashy colors. She's very creative, very quirky, but in a good way. My music is not associated with the fetish scene. I'm a music freak, I absolutely love that. It's just all over. I mean, I love David Bowie, but I love Ministry. She'll always come up with something that you've never seen before, or will manage to make something that could be banal, look very good or interesting. So for that, really, I'm amazed. I'm a tattoo artist without any tattoos. It's too easy when you work in a tattoo shop to just get your whole body tattooed for free. So I'm really waiting to uh, find an artist that I really admire and a design that I'm sure also because I constantly change my mind being in the in this scene, you know.